Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder All Weather coming at you with your afternoon update. In this update, we'll be talking about the major winter storm that's going to be an ice threat as well as some heavy snow and also going to bring some severe weather for the south. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. All right, so let's get started. Here's the overall uh, 500 millibar pattern. You can kind of see what's actually kind of happening. Here's the developing trough that's off the Baja of California. That is bringing some much needed rain for the desert southwest and also some snow for the Four Corners region. But it's also bringing a southwest wind and that over time will kind of set the stage for our severe weather threat, possibly on Sunday as we go into the southeast later on this weekend. So let me kind of take you through, uh, by Sunday, we can see that the developing trough kind of really digs deep into California, bringing some, some colder air to that part of the country. You can see the south, southwest wind just kind of amplifying and pumping in that warm gulf air. This is gonna be very humid. It's gonna be kind of, uh, the, the dew points are gonna rise into possibly the mid 60s. And ultimately that's gonna set the stage for a uh, severe weather threat as we've got a blocking ridge up into the negative NAO. when we also have a developing 50-50 uh, low out to the northeast that are going to be major players for this uh, snow event that's going to be for this part of uh, the country so as we kind of expand the view as we get into sunday you can see this trough it's kind of making its it's kind of uh, be making its move uh to the east and that's going to set the stage it's going to come in what they call negative tilt and a severe weather threat uh, for Texas. They already included, the, uh, the Storm Prediction Center already included a 15% chance of uh, severe weather coming up on Sunday night for the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And we'll kind of get, in, get into that, those details. But as we go into Tuesday, this system will kind of shift further east. And that is going to set the stage for our some snow event and ice threat for basically along this area of the of the country and that's going to be a huge player uh, coming up by early uh, next week so as we kind of take a look at the surface of what's actually happening uh, right now you can see the northwest flow is pretty prevalent along the northeast that's bringing some below average temperatures uh, for the mid-atlantic in the northeast we're kind of like sporadic snow showers and some lake effect snow We've got this atmospheric river of moisture coming in from the southwest that just be kind of daily rain chances for uh, Texas as we get into parts of the deep south. And that will be kind of on the move as we progress into uh, Saturday night. It'll still have some rain showers coming in and uh, parts of Texas, but this this trough will kind of swing down uh, from California and it'll make its way uh, to the east uh, coming up on sa Saturday and uh, through, and then it'll start dumping some snow into uh, Minnesota, portions of uh, Iowa going into uh, Wisconsin by then. And that'll set the stage for kind of some snow showers that are kind of be around uh, for the Green Bay game. Because by the time uh, Sunday morning rolls around, there'll be some some heavier snow starting to break out into portions of, uh, like I said, like portions of, say, Minneapolis again and getting into uh, Wisconsin. But you can also see that cold air starting to press. I mean, it's it's the, the difference from this morning's update to now, this system has made a dramatic shift to the south. And what's happening is it's feeling the effects of that negative NAO, that ridge that's over uh, at the Greenland here. And that's kind of pressing it, keeping it pressing it further south here. And that's kind of with that overriding event, we could be starting to set the stage for possibly some ice as you start to go into the day on, on the Sunday now in parts of uh, Missouri. And that will progress uh, to the east as, as, we go, as we go deeper into Sunday into southern uh, Illinois now as that rain event will kind of amplify uh, by, uh, by, by Sunday. And here's kind of the temperatures. You can kind of see what we're looking at. And I can take my uh, picture off so you can see the full picture. Um, where, where the 
where the freezing line is going to be. And that's as this can, you can see the, the temperatures are starting to press further south. And here's kind of your freezing line. And that's where they're picking up on some of the, some of the rain changing over to possibly some ice uh, by that time and uh, parts of Missouri. So as we as we go into uh you know like i said sunday night that developing low pressure is going to be right over the dallas fort worth area and it's going to come in what they call a uh, negative tilt and with the kind of like that anticyclonic flow we could we could have a, a kind of a triple point action with the dry line set it up out in west texas and there's going to be some low level shear as well so that could have rotation in the upper levels and we could set the stage for possibly some hail, some high winds, and even an isolated tornado threat is not out of the question, depending on the timing. And we might have to be dealing with a, a, a capitan version uh, over the Dallas-Fort Worth area, kind of that warm air aloft that might inhibit uh, the thunderstorms uh, to being too amplified, depending on the cloud cover around. But that will kind of swing uh, to the east. And like I mentioned, the, the Storm Prediction Center has already put out you know beyond the three day going under their four day a 15 percent chance of severe weather so typically when they have this much congruency you know ahead of the three-day outlook it's a pretty well favorable situation where they could have uh, severe weather so i would not be surprised this even possibly enhances to the next level as well as we get closer in, into the event but as we extend to Monday, I mean, this is kind of the main the main player uh, for next week. That that low will start to really start to amplify and dig. We'll have the southwest wind, so warm warm to the south, where we'll have that overriding effect. We'll start to have an ice storm. Unfortunately, for parts of uh, Nebraska, getting into uh, northern parts of Missouri, going into southern parts of Iowa by then, getting to central Illinois, and then snow on the north side. So we could have some heavier snows at that as this progresses uh, eastward uh, throughout the day on Monday. And this will this will continue and just amplify as it as it pushes east dumping some really heavier snows now getting into central and southern Iowa going to places like Chicago I mean you could pick up maybe possibly four to eight inches from this event depending on where the the, the line sets up and this will continue uh, north of uh, you know north Indiana and this will continue pressing uh, east as we go into Monday night uh, early end of month uh, into Tuesday and this will like I mentioned this snow this ice will start to press and as this presses further east this will continue to press further south so we could be looking at some ice uh possibly into uh say uh, you know uh washington dc getting into uh delaware getting into maryland well we could have a changeover to snow starting to break out into uh, pennsylvania where we have again more snow into parts of uh, michigan as this keeps pushing off to the east and just kind of amplifying with that ice threat so we could have a, a pretty big ice storm and in, in, in this part of the country you know with with snow on the north side ice in the middle and rain on the south as this continues to press and we're going to be getting snow in places you really haven't seen that much snow like jersey i expect you at least pick several inches long island new york again i expect at least several inches uh, from from this event and this is just over the next uh, five days as the, as this continues uh to press into uh connecticut by uh by by tuesday morning and then you always have a backside event from this system and that's when you'll start uh having just kind of a transfer now the ice threat is over into more of a snow threat for these areas maybe a little bit further north uh by then but still picking up and adding to the snowfall totals as it continues pushing off the east dumping some more snow over uh, uh new jersey getting into uh, uh delaware uh you know places like that just really haven't seen that much snow uh, so far this season so as we kind of expand the view and look at some of the snowfall totals and this is just through uh, capturing tuesday night yeah look at some of these bullseyes out in the four corner regions the european models got 20 plus inches uh for uh, places like flagstaff as we get into uh you know parts of uh, iowa getting into uh, illinois and going into indiana we could have a swath of eight to eight to 12 inches if not greater 
along this line and this is actually pushed further south than what it was looking at looking like uh this morning and as we continue uh to the east it still has that snow going all the way into parts of uh, west virginia getting in northern parts of virginia covering a, a good portion of uh, dc i do expect you to pick up some snow out of this i mean look at that entire new jersey is covered in this event so even south jersey yes you're going to be getting some snow delaware from the, from this system and pretty much all of pennsylvania is either going to be getting a snow event or unfortunately some ice uh with this system if we look at the the latest uh, canadian model it's even a little bit more bullish in some places dumping 37 inches and in, in flagstaff so that could be some very heavy snow out there and then again progressing as we progress to the east it's not as uh, thin it kind of expands the snow so you just kind of this idea uh with with updates this continues to push a tad bit further south but it also kind of amplifies as uh, well and then especially as we continue uh pushing off to the east we could pick up some some healthy snowfall totals of six to ten inches and in this and this part of the uh the mid-atlantic but we're also going to be dealing with that ice threat that's going to be a major player unfortunately into uh, missouri illinois indiana as well as parts of say Pittsburgh, going to be dealing with snow and ice with this event getting into possibly dc going into delaware so you're going to be dealing with some slick roads uh on the street as well and then even then if we if we miss that if you miss out on this event that's not too far off where we could be having another event and that could be even a little bit further south this is by thursday we have a developing low right off the coast of uh, virginia so we could be even dumping more snow into west virginia going into jersey going into delaware uh you know maryland areas and then a little bit further south into virginia so if you miss out on the first event you're probably going to be hit with the second event so but we do have a lot of snow on the way for the next week so i appreciate you guys uh, watching uh, do like this video definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where i protect you before and after the storm